So many people from all walks of life have been motivated to help those in need, and we are now joined by the star of NCIS, Polly Peretz. In fact, we saw her out there, and we said, Polly, come in. And she just she, ran right in here to sit down. Her energy is just explosive coming into the studio. Just scooped me up and tossed me in the chair in front of a camera. <laughs> so you know this is a great cause. Yeah. yeah. We're, we're here again doing working with the Red Cross to... Um, Raise money for the victims of the wildfires and mm -hmm. the firefighters, and um, it's just—it's a really great thing to be a part of. I've, I did this the last time we did a fundraiser, and it means a lot to me. It means a lot to everyone. But coming from a firefighter family um, in Alabama and Tennessee, um, my cousins, my my dad's an 82-year-old firefighter wow. in Alabama, still fighting fires. Um, I, you know, I I just have I love. And my firefighter family so much. Mm -hmm. So I mean, it just for everybody that that's coming on to help, everyone that's contributing, anyone that donates, and anyone that's just praying. <laughs> you know, we yeah. appreciate it all. And firefighters are so selfless. They go out there every single day to protect community property, people. Yeah, it's it's mm -hmm. incredible. It really takes a very specific and beautiful kind of spirit and yeah. human being. And I happen to be related to a lot of them. <laughs> Which is awesome. Yeah. Um, of course, we had some tragic news this mm -hmm. afternoon. We had a, mm -hmm. a, the first firefighter die uh, fighting the Thomas yeah. fire that just happened today, and um, the, the the funds that we're trying to raise is is to help the people who've lost everything. I mean, despite all their efforts, so many people lost everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, homes. I mean, can you even imagine going home and not having anything? I left, was I right? was driving home the other day, um, and I just was I was just got just overwhelmed with the fact that I have a home to go back to. Yeah. Make me cry. Mm -hmm. I cry. I was crying in my car, and just the thought of that. Just like I'm like, wow, I get to go home. And there's so many people who don't even have that mm -hmm. option right now. It's heartbreaking. A lot of people in the Hollywood uh, community were affected by this fire. Did you know anybody personally, on either on set or um, friends of yours? No, I, our, our, the NCIS set was really, really close to one of the fires mm -hmm. up north. And, you know, I was like on the phone all day just, you know, saying, does anybody need to come stay at my house or anything? But we, we were gratefully unscathed, you mm -hmm. know, that thus far. Okay, don't you start crying because then you're going to start me crying. Well, I know. Crying. I'm a crying. You know, when you, <laughs> seriously, I'm a crier. <laughs> when you think of uh, just the hundreds and hundreds of firefighters who leave their families mm -hmm. every single day, and one of them's not coming home today. I know. It's so, it, well, you know, when you, when you have firefighters in your family, you think about that a lot. I mean, it scares me to death. I'm so yeah. incredibly proud of my firefighter family, but, you know, there's... It's, you know, it's a risk every time, every time we go out there. And, you know, of course, I've been watching the news all day and just my heart breaks so much for that yeah. firefighter and the family and the entire fire squad because firefighters are, are a family amongst themselves. They oh, yeah. rely on each other. They, they do, uh, you know, it's just really, it's, a, it's just, just a huge undertaking what they're doing for us. And it's a blessing for all of us to have them. So yeah. thank you so much, Polly, for joining us today. And I know you want to man the phones at least for a little bit, right? Yeah. Okay, we'll send you over there. I'm going to go answer some <laughs> phones. So you call and maybe I'll get to say hello. I hope so. Thanks, Polly. Maybe you get lucky. Well, if you would like to help out those in need, donate. Call 818-821-1080 or text CBSLA Helps to 75759. And if you want to donate online, you can go to cbsla.com slash CBSLA Helps. Our current total is over $290,000. We want to thank everybody who've donated, so let's keep it coming. Okay.